And this is the Jose Soto Show. Thank you for tuning in. Now, there's something I have to address. Actually, I really don't want to address it. But because there are people that sometimes are just too, I don't know, ignorant. And, uh... Just don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But I will say this though, is that you can try to name call me. I mean, I've been called a faggot. I've been called every word, a spick, a wetback. And of course, <clears throat> now I'm called a racist and that's fine. But let me tell you something about racism and what it really means and what it really is. If you look at the past in our nation's history here in America, you'll find why we had slavery in America. And it was slavery against black people, obviously, to keep them as slaves. Why? Because the white folks thought that they were superior to other races. The Nazis thought that they were descendants from the Aryan race, uh, other groups of white people think that they're superior. Now, there are other races and other people of different races that think that they are superior to other races. Right? Like we have the Aryan Brotherhood. We have La Raza, I guess you can say. I don't know. <laughs> Some of these Mexicans who believe that we're still descendants of the Aztec culture, but we're really not. We have a lot of European blood. And there are some people who believe uh, that black people are superior to, to everybody else. And I know those people personally. I have a, a few friends who are black, what is it, uh, Afrocentric, I guess that's the term now. Not racist, right? So I'm not here to play the race bait. I'm here to fight against that. And that's why I don't buy this whole Trayvon Martin bullshit. I'm not going to buy into it. Sorry. I looked at the evidence. And Mr. Zimmerman is not a racist as far as I know. And you might want to impose a racist card on it. Race bait people. And, and play to the media hype on this issue. And you can do that. But... I'm not going to do that. Sorry. But that's fine though. Uh, and let me just say. That there are reasons why. Trayvon Martin is dead. And it's not because of what you think it is. You can blame the law. You can even blame Zimmerman. But one thing we have to get it clear. Is that Racism. has nothing really to play in this situation. Nothing. If you want to deal with racism, real racism, and I don't mean going after the KKK or you know one of these Nazi groups or waste your time with the Southern Poverty Law Center. Real racists are in power. And those are the dangerous kinds of races. Now, you can say that a gun will give you power, but you might kill one person, two, two people. Who knows what you uh, can do with that gun? But what about mass genocide of a great mass proportion? Like what's going on right now in Congress? You see, there are certain members of Congress, and I'll say this, that are hardcore racists they're not allowed to express their racism but they are allowed to legislate on their racism and recently I think we have many many specific evidence on how they operate and to demonstrate that they are racist let me just say that they know for a fact that a lot of black people depend on food stamps and guess what they're doing right now Guess what they're doing right now? 
yeah, they're trying to take away food stamps. SNAP. And hot meals for for uh, needy children in school. Some of these, and actually most of these schools are urban schools with black kids. And we know what they're targeting. We know these uh, fascist toy Republicans. You know what? You know why they're doing that. They're doing that because they know that this SNAP program, the food stamps, or EBT card, or uh, Head Start, uh, college tuition, and all this, the Pell Grant for uh, free college education, they know that all these programs benefit certain people, brown and black people. That's who they are targeting by slashing and cutting these programs. That's their target. Everybody knows that. And also they're trying to impose all these voter ID laws and all these other bullshit. And why is that, you might say? Because they don't want black people to vote. That's it, period. That's what it is. So, to me, this sounds like this whole Trayvon Martin fiasco, circus, media circus. And believe me, I think the NBC, NBC News should be sued. And Zimmerman's going to sue them because of what they did. They lied. They lied through their teeth about this case. And they defamed Mr. Zimmerman. That, that, that's what happened. So, and you know why they did that, right? It's to get the black people all wild up, attacking anybody like me who happens to tell you the truth. The truth is, nothing really bad happened. Yes, a kid died just like other black kids have been killed already in Chicago, New York. What about that gay black guy that was shot in the face dead? Nobody gave a shit about that guy. What happened to that? No, oh, well, he's a he, he's a homo. Oh, that's different. <laughs> I tell you, these double standards, I, it, it, it annoys me. And sometimes when black people are played like this by the racists in the corporate media, <laughs> and they don't even know it, now they go after me. Now they go after other people. And that's fine. I don't give a shit, but... The fact of the matter is, this whole thing kind of sounds suspicious. Uh, this whole, let's play on this case, let's pull the race card and the uh, the race baiting on this on this particular uh, tragic story. You might say that, and of course it is tragic. But what will be really tragic if a lot of these black kids did not get their school lunches or their hot meals, and if we had a lot of uh, poor people, you know, what's going to happen is a lot of poor people will be starving without the food stamps, right? That's what we know. And it was the week before, actually I think it was the same week, the same week of the verdict. Quite coincidentally, that's when the Congress, uh, the House of Representatives, the fascistoids, uh, the teabaggers, decided to rip apart the farm bill and take away the food stamps. The same week that we had the Trayvon Martin verdict. If you're black, doesn't that sound kind of suspicious to you? Doesn't it sound kind of suspicious that they're trying to take away the Pell Grant this week? They're trying to slash education funds? Trying to slash uh, or, or, or not uh, help students with their uh, federal school loans? In fact, that the interest rate just doubled recently. Oh, all of those real issues that affect you, they're all placed on hold while we talk about a non-issue like Trevor Martin. And the reason why I was able to see through the smoke screen and basically rip apart all this shit from my last podcast and tell you that Trevor Martin was really a homophobic kid, that's what he was. And I'm going to play you a clip right now when I come back from break. And I'm going to play a clip, another clip now, more proof that basically what happened that night wasn't really a poor black kid getting bashed by a racist. That wasn't what 
happened. What ha- what happened was <clears throat> a homophobe kid, homophobic kid named Trayvon Morton gay bashed Zimmerman and Zimmerman shot him. That's what happened. Now as far as the details, like did Zimmerman stalk him and, and you know, whatever those other details, it's not gonna it's not gonna really erase the fact that the person that threw the first punch, according to the testimony and according to all the evidence that we have seen, it was that Trevor Martin threw the first punch because he thought that Zimmerman was a gay rapist. A homosexual predator and because of that now we're talking about this non-issue and it really isn't but and let me tell you something if Trump, if, if Zimmerman didn't have a gun that night I would have bet that that story would have ended up on Tall Road as another anti-gay hate crime of a poor guy named George Zimmerman who got his his head bashed into the concrete by this homophobic teenager that would have been the end result but since Zimmerman had a gun oh well that's different and it's a whole different thing and now we have the standing ground law and we have the fact that Zimmerman is half white oh yeah oh yeah now we can draw a pretty good picture that we the corporate media like to paint so that way all of you black people can be distracted about this nonsense while we take away your food stamps take away your economic rights in Congress. The real racists, where are they? They're not in the neighborhood watch. They're not in the fucking cleaners. They're not at the gas station. They're the real racists are in Capitol Hill. They're at the at the uh, Federal Reserve, Wall Street, the Koch brothers. They're in fucking Buckingham Palace in the city of London. They're in Rome. They're in Paris. You know where they are? And you know what they're doing and planning? Finding ways to distract you so you can not know what they're doing. But hey, you want to know something? You, you, you want to play into the race card, into the race wars, into the race divisions. You want to do that? Fine. Do it. <laughs> and besides, I find humor in, in a lot of these things. And I do. And I know it's tragic. But we are humans though. And you know, I try to find humor. In some of these cases, I mean, what else can I do? I mean, if I were to cry for Trayvon, would that bring him back from the dead? Because if that is the case, I'll cry. I'll cry to bring him back. If my tears are magical tears of of of, of some sort of, you know, fairy dust that I cry out through my, you know, through my eyelids, that can magically make Trayvon Martin come back from the dead, I'll do it right now. I'll cry right now for Trayvon. But I don't care. He's dead. He's dead. He doesn't even care. He, you know, uh, he's dead. And I believe in reincarnation, so he's probably reborn somewhere else. I don't know. But there you have it. <clears throat> a real racist. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want, people. You, you can call me a racist and all that. <laughs> Go ahead. Knock your knock yourself out. Be my guest, but the real racist, they're planning your genocide. <laughs> and all I'm just doing here is playing some sound effects and uh, talking to a microphone, and that's racist. Okay. But there you have it. We'll be right back after these words. <laughs> 